Kristovi ostri. All hail the power of Jesus' name for our opening song. God, Father in heaven, we are so grateful, O Lord, for this opportunity of worship, for you have been saving us throughout the week, 
You have been so good. And now here we are bringing our hearts to you, ourselves as a living sacrifice. We pray, O oh Lord, please accept us. Accept our worship and we'll invite the presence of your Holy Spirit to grace this occasion. Fill us with joy as we worship you. May your messages be reflected from the scriptures and from the research of people who have been discerned by your spirit. Build us, O Lord, with your blessings of the hour. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning and happy Sabbath, uh, everyone. Before our deacons will receive our tithes and offerings, I will be reading to you this morning our tithes and offerings readings, which is entitled, God First Dating. Two more months and this relationship will be broken, said Clyde to her neighbor, Marcus. Making fun of him after seeing him talking to a girl, she was right. His longest serious relationship lasted no more than three months mostly due to his emotional immaturity and inability to love. Then, during a week of prayer at the Adventist boarding school in Sao Paulo, Brazil, Marcos heard about the God's first principle, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you, says Matthew 6.33. Even though the, the context of the text is about finances, those principles could apply to other areas of life as well, he thought. Start everything with a prayer, and your chances of succeeding will be greater, said the pastor. So the first time Marcus invited Marie to an outing, he was very unsure about what to do. He wanted to put God first by inviting him to go with him on an outing. But he had never been prayed with a girl before. Would she think he was weird? Would she reject him because of that? Clearly, the Spirit was inviting him to confess Christ, and it was a turning point in his life. If she leaves me because of a prayer, he finally decided, then the sooner, the better. So, even though a little embarrassed, he invited Marie to pray with him before starting uh, the engine. So Marie was in his small Volkswagen Passat borrowed from his father. He believed his chances about the greater if he put God first. And this was the beginning of a relationship that would mature into marriage three years later. On May 13 of 1986, since then, Marcus and Marie have committed their lives to serve God as Adventist missionaries in their countries and abroad. Our appeal, God is calling us to put him first in all aspects of life, including our relationship and even finances. And we put God first in our finances when we set apart his tithe and our promise regular percentage, which is 10%, even before any other expenses are met. God's assurance is that all the other things we need shall be added unto you. Our prayer, Dear God, we recognize you as our heavenly Father, provider, and sustainer. Please touch us to put you first in every areas of our lives and accept the tithes and offerings that we bring today after recognizing that you care for us. Amen. Our deacons are now ready to receive our tithes and offerings.
Maga po ta. Labing amanan nga Diyos, anak sa imong tonos kay tasan sa mga langit. Mag-uumol sa langit ug sa yuta, nagmugna sa mga butang nga makita ug di makita. Kami o Diyos, mapasalamato ni ining matahom. Nga kabuntagon sa alag papahulay, kundiin kami imong ginatigom sa pag-uli sa among halad o among mga ikapulo. Yun know, pinasahi, kami mapasalamatun nga imong pagsustenar sa amo ang mga kinabuhi katong iaging unong ka mga adlaw o kami sa mapasalamatun nga imuhang gipanalinginan kami sa maing kumanlawas para kami makapadayon sa amon sustag sa ka mga buluhaton sa matag adlaw ginoo panalangini ang mga negosyo ang mga kamot nga nagahatag og nagauli sa ilang mga halad ug ikapulo karon nga unta sa sunod sa bado na apay daghan nga mga panalangin nga mga salapi nga Mudangat sa yung tronos grasya, gino, para kini magamit sa pagdaog o hamilin nga kala. Ginoo, ang tight o ang mga halad, ginoo, gimugna para sa pagpakal na sa maing balita. O, hinawat, ginoo, nga kining ministeryo sa katapusang mga adlaw, imong panalanginan para ang buhat matapos na. Salamat, ginoo, sa pagtubag ni mo sa mga mag-ampo. O, pasailuwa kami kung diin man kami nakapasilo ka ni mo nakapahiubos sa buhat sa pulang sa una-una. O, kami, ginoo, mapasalamatan usab sa imong gimugna nga iglesia nga mauy mo pabarog o mapakalnap sa katapusan ng mensahe sa tibuok kalibutan. Salamat sa pagtubag ni mo sa mga pag-ampo kay kinintanan mag sa ngalan ni Jesus. Amen. sa dili pa nako basahon ang ato ang text for this morning I'd like to invite those who have special concerns katong dunay gustong ihangyo sa atong Ginoo dili ta tubangan mga egzoan katong dunay mga problema sa ilang pamilya financial sa ilang trabaho Og usab katong mga pagampo nga natubag na sa Ginoo nga gusto magpasalamat nga igsoan. I think kitang tanan dunay mga rason nga magpasalamat sa Ginoo ang gihangyo ang gusto nga modol sa Ginoo alang sa ato ang special nga pagampo. We will give you a short time para sa inyo ang mga concerns and then akong tapuson mga igsoan. Our text for this morning found in Philippians chapter 1 verses verses 9 to 11. Verse 9, And this is my prayer that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight. Verse 10, So that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless until the day of Christ. Verse 11, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Maghinetas pang Lord Mayroon.
among Dios nga gamhanan nga nasa mga langit nga mo itagiyas mong mga kinabuhi ginoo na sa tanan Pasailo a kami o Dios sa daghan nga paagi nga kami nakapahibos diha kanimo ikaw na sa idamahan sa among mga kaluyahon sa among mga binuhatan sa among sinutian bisan sa among hunahuna Pasailo a kami o Dios ning kabuntagon ginoo Bisan pa man ining tanan, kami nagapasalamat kanimo Tungod kay ikaw nagpakamaayo ka namo hangtod ni ining panahona. Hinao to Diyos, ang pagiyas bilang Espiritu magkauban ang taka namo kanunay. Ginoon ining kabuntagon, ania ang imong mga kaanakan, mga kaigsunan, uban ang ilang mga problema o pagpasalamat, ginoo tapangi kami daghan sa amo akaron adunay problema sa pamilya ang uban dunay problema sa financial problema sa trabaho ug uban pa ginoo nga dili namo masulbad sa among kaugalingon hinaw to dios ikaw magauban ka namo giyahi kami ginoo sa tanan namong pagabuhaton nga makahimo unta kami decision na uyon diha kanimo daghang mga butang ning kalibutan na amahan nga sa pagkakaroon dili na mo masabtan apan labing siguro Ginoo nga ikaw dunay labing maayong plano alang sa matag usa kanamo hinao to Dios ikaw maga uh, uban kanamo usab amahan nagapasalamat kami sa mga butang nga among nadawat sa proteksyon sa buok semana sa mga kahigayunan o Diyos, sila binanin ng adlaong igpapahulay. Hinaot gino, ang matagusa, makabaton o kadasik sa kanunay na magapabilin kaming maligon sa pag-alaga diha kanimo. Kung lignayin kautuhon gino, hinaot, ikaw magapanalangin ni ng tibuok na iglesia, andama ang matagusa gino. Ablihi ang mga nakuna o kasing-kasing na makahimo kami sa pagsabot sa mga butang na imong ihatag karun. O sa Diyos, among ginampo nga ikaw magapanalangin, magabubo sa iyong balang ng Espiritu sa among speaker karon Pastor Blasi. Ihatag ka niya ginoo ang pinasahi nga kaalam na ang pulong nga magagula sa iyong baba, magagikan kinidiha kanimo, magkahatag ka niya mong kadasig na magaalagad kami na mantinod anong diha kanimo. Daghan mga butang o Diyos ng kalibutan na among gihandong. Pan ikaw may labing nasaya, ginoo unsa ang labing maayo alang ka na busa kining tanan among itugyan o misalik diya kanimo sa ngala ni Ginoong Isus. Amen.
Hello. Hello. Yeah. 
dalaygo ng Diyos, mga kaigsunan, tungod kay lain o sang adlong ipapahulay ang iyang gihatag ka na to, diin makahimo kita sa pagsimba sa buhi ng Diyos diya sa Espiritu sa kamaturan. Dalaygo ng sabsiya, tungod kay lain o sa mga mensahiro niyang iyang ipada o saka dedicated o maabtik na mensahiro. Alang niya itong mga kaigsuna na itong wakma sinati kaniya. Si Pastor Anastasio Bibot Blasi. Mawoy atong Tanhe Church Pastor. Nini nga itong iglesia sa wakma siya sa nguni sa iyang bago nga responsibilidad diha sa atong local na conference. Siya karon ang Health and Family Ministries Director. Coordinator sa siya sa Adventist Mission. Coordinator o sab sa Adventist Muslim Relationship. Mga kaigsunan, ang Diyos Adunay mensahe alang ka nato. Atong ihatag ang atong kinatibukan ng atensyon kang pastor Bibot Blase. Dagan salamat. Tony Dinoy for the kind introduction. Salamat sab sa invitasyon nga makausa makabalik ko dire. Imingaw kay ko ning simbahan kay makasimba ra mi kausa o kaduha sa usa ka tuig. <laughs> And I have seen a lot of changes. I have seen the glory of the Lord shining in this church. Lots of improvements. When it comes to media, and I would like to greet our 3,000 followers of our Facebook coverage. So I'm so glad that there are 3,000. Maybe it's adding. If you would like that web, and nga to ang Facebook page, then there will be more. So maybe this sermon would be so fast because I have prepared 57 slides. But our time would only warrant up to 30 minutes. So two slides per minute, that's okay. We endeavor so much to start on time, but really time won't warrant because of the blessings Daghan kay tagi kapulo nga kuha unon. Maybe that is one of the areas in which may improve na to ang uh, collection sa tithes and offering na di na kayo mo kawat o daku nga oras. Other churches in America, there is a big box right there. Mura kag musulod og bangko. Suwat so sa imong tithes and offering pag kuman imong ihulog. Og dunay collection, paspas na lang kayo kay nahulog naman dito. Alsaho na lang na sa Jakuno o Dalong de Ristubangan. So, it shortens the time. Hi, I wish I could start talking by 10.30. Kaya mawag na yung among gulong ta. But we can improve, right? Because the time of the speaker is so squeezed. And one time I stood up in Capitol, my time is only 15 minutes before 12. And I almost cried out. What is this? Well, this is what is going on. But there are lots of improvements. So the, our topic for this morning, let's praise the Lord for the spiritual gift that He has given, the gift of discernment. Do you know what is discernment? We call this in the modern uh, language, psychology. People who really discern and try to follow 
man's thought. Is this suicidal? Is this aggressive? Is this shy? So they can see a lot of personalities being exposed even by just looking the eye. Oh, you are sad. Okay? So the Mental Health Summit was conducted last week and we were privileged to attend. It was a GC organized meeting. And the one that is on the picture is Dr. Landless, who is the director and the associate director is uh, Dr. Thorburn Bergland, who speaks English like an Elongo. You know the Elongo language? Yeah, I told you. And then you come here. So we enjoy the intonation, the musical English, because he was a Norwegian. So we have learned a lot from them. And one that I, I'm interested to share with you this morning is about the topic happiness. Oh, not working. <laughs> so this is another problem. Okay, maybe I have to give the signal to move on. I'll just press this one. Okay, and then you move. Okay, happiness. So, would you like to be happy? Huh? So, are you happy that you are here? Oh, very slow, yes. Okay, greet your seatmate and say, I'm happy to see you. And wear a best smile. Forget your sadness, forget your problem. I was told, Pastor, there is corona. Please avoid handshaking. No, there's nobody here from China, okay? So it's okay to shake hands. And just say, I'm happy to see you. I'm fine, I'm okay. I'm happy that I was able to uh, spend my Sabbath with you. Okay, so if you will search the scripture, you will see. Uh, I will press here. Not working. Now one more. Siga gani? Wane ba tere? Kamo na le ako. Okay. Ako na le press diya. Then you move the screen. Okay. So. If you will take a look at the scripture, or before that, don't you know that every hour there are 90 persons who committed suicide? So, gikan karong alas 11, padong alas 12, dunan nai nobinta kabuok na namatay na naghikog. Og, in one day, 2,160. So, estimated in the whole world, this is a survey that was conducted way back last 2016. And there were 993,000 deaths. And there were recorded 1.3 million suicidal attempts. What's the reason behind why these people are trying to cut off themselves? They are not happy. Yeah. They are not happy. And their lives has no meaning. So they don't know how to be happy. But our text is telling us, Philippians 1, 9 to 11, that has been read. And this is my prayer that Love may abound. See? Love may abound. And more and more in the knowledge and deep insight. So that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with fruit of the righteousness that comes from Jesus Christ to the glory and 
grace of God. So I underline a lot of words in these verses. In this verse, love me abound. Have you heard that song? What the world needs love, it's love, sweet love. Do you know that song? It was a very old song that is seldom sung by even our young people, and even did not heard it. Because love, love now that nowadays are very, very adulterated. Yeah. And now the next word that has been overused is the word family. And the next word was forever. Ah, wala nang forever. What's the use of the word if wala nang forever? So we must be very careful. But you know this verse, this is the prayer of Paul that love me abound more. Because what the world needs today is love. Love, sweet love, deep love. The word happiness appears in the scripture 18 times. I'm sorry, the presentation is very small because I just prepared this last night and the PowerPoint, the row was not submitted to us, so I just typed this written. So, in the scriptures, only 18 times the word happy is being mentioned. And what are those? Let's start from Genesis. Leah was called happy. Why? Why Leah was called happy? You know, if your name is Caesar, and the meaning of Caesar is what? A king. The Caesar. Yeah? And Leah was called happy. Oh, it's a nice name. Happy. Then the next word was used in Deuteronomy 33, verse 29. Saved. Happy are those people who are saved. And you know what happened to the people of Egypt when they moved out and they were pressed at the corner and nowhere to go and God saved them by opening the sea. And they were happy. And this word frequently used by the word says, those who stand continually with God. Do you want to be happy? Stand continually with God. Job 5, 17. It says, do not despise the chastening. Inisaya on tani. Malipay katong malipayon ang tao nga dili magsalikway sa mga pagbadlong. Kita mga anak ko sahay, badlungon mong kita no? Pero gusto mong malipay, pabadlong sa no. Maminaw ta, despise not. Happy is the man who has, has his kiver full of them. Aung research kung saan man kiver. <laughs> Sakto ba ng word? Kiver? Quiver. Panudlanan. Ang imong panudlanan, oh, kumusta ang inyong panudlanan sa bugas? Kung wala na na'y sulod, makatawa, mapahiyo ang imong asawa. Hehehe, wala na'y bugas. That's something. Hehehe, wala na'y kwarta, ngutang na ta, hindi na ta kapahiyong. See? So see to it that your your kiver, your Maybe your bank book is full. Then, happy are those who labor on your hands. And you will be happy. Those who have work. Those people who are committing suicide are those people who are depressed. And they don't have work. Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. You, we know this song. Happy is the people of God. He is the Lord. And who has God for His help? He who finds wisdom. So, malipayon gining edukado kay sa dili. Because you have wisdom. You know how to deal with things. 
happy are those or everyone who retains her. If I were to interpret this, kantong dili mo biyag asawa. So ay kuno nagbiya inyong asawa magmalipayon ba mo? Maghikog magalining uban o biyag uyab. Diba? So if you want to be happy, retain. Happy are those who doesn't judge himself. Don't put a limit on yourself. Don't underestimate the creation of God. Si Duterte, wala na maghuna-huna ng mga presidente. Don't underestimate. Don't judge yourself because God will do something for you which you don't know. Paul has was very happy. And this is also found in the spirit of prophecy that the highest joy that everybody could experience is to join the Lord's work. Kamu mga women, ang ananganta mo dia sa pasyente. Inaguman yung kanta, how did you feel? Huh? Happy. Because happiness, joy is a gift. And Paul was telling us in Acts chapter 26 verse 2, he was very happy that he was given the chance to witness to Agrippa. He was so happy witnessing to the king. Another word synonymous is rejoice. It was mentioned 170 times. Wow. But most of the word rejoice in the presence of God. Rejoice before God. So when we come to the church, don't wear a very sad face. You need to rejoice. Okay? Rejoice for God has given you. What did you receive? Huh? When I received the 10 years visa, wow! 10 years, murag langit na ang Amerika ba? Nagabote dito, perting ningawa. Hindi ka mawakay car nga i-drive, murag ag-ermitan niyo. Puyo, rakas balay, muli ni Amerika. See? We receive a lot from the Lord. A beautiful wife, children, grandchildren, house, cars, lands, etc. Then we rejoice. This is biblical. And last is the final rejoicing. When God shall come, we will rejoice. He will, we will rejoice. He will rejoice in our salvation. Well, there is a question. Whose country is the happiest country in the whole world? Can you guess? Huh? Sweden? Denmark? <laughs> okay, flash the next slide. Finland. Wow, Finland. Second, Denmark. Third, Norway. These are the countries that people want to visit because the people right there are very happy. Wow. Switzerland, Sweden, New Zealand. Diba, daghan kayong nurses na nagtong New Zealand. Daghan pang baka kayo tao. They want to go to Canada. The country was empty. So they need more people. But here in Cebu, wow, congested. Daghan kayong squatter. Then the number 10 was Australia. The most peaceful. But now Australia is on fire. Maybe people will be scared. He will maybe malower na ng iyahang category. What about Philippines? Huh? Kapila ng Pilipinas? Don't know. Philippines! Para kwa mi magkasynchronize da. <laughs> Philippines! Ikapila ng Pilipinas. Huh? Okay, let's talk first about Finland. Why Finland? The reason behind is the Finnish society 
has built in such a way that people are supported but still feel they have control over their lives. People are supported. Dito sa Amerika, o mag-edad ka ng 60, wa kay trabaho, na na kay SSI, nga mga $800, makakauna ka. Ang imong tambal, libre na. Ang imong doktor, libre na. Ang imong $800, mabuhi na ka, anak. Kung di ka mabuhi, isood na ka sa home of the agent, so secure kay ka. Ganahan mo dito sa Amerika? Magpuyo ka sa kamingaw, o gunya, maghila ka kay way apo nga mo ay mo bisita ni mo. Madres, Pilipinas, kay nga itong lula, naramas ito nga, hantod mga matay, si lula, ribika, naragihapon na to. Yes. Because they are supported. The finish, the fence happiness is more than just an emotion. It's about living a reserved, balanced, and resilient life. Dali ra kay sila maulian, masunugan ay ah, kabala ka na insurance ana. Tukuran na din kagbalay after two, after one month. So dili kay sila magool. And then ang problema ang bad news sa Finland, they rank 23rd in the suicidal rate in the whole world. Daghan sila ika 23 sila nga nasod nga daghan ang maghikub. Because once they fall down from their happiness, they could not accept the reality in their lives, so maghikog sila. Nawala na ang kalipay. Okay? Itong balikan ang Pilipinas. Ikapila ka ng Pilipinas, no? Ha? Tara. Ikasaysinta inuibi. Kalayo, regards Pinoy. Ika-34, Singapore. Ika-52, Thailand. Then, Malaysia. Ika-80. Ang katapusan, Ika-131, ang Myanmar. Because Myanmar is... Not because they are Buddhist. They are Hindus. But they are communist. Bago lang nag-open ang Myanmar of democracy. So, nga itong mga Adventist nga mga brethren sa Myanmar karon open na kakayo sila magwali, open na sila magpabautismo, recognize na ang simbahan sa Myanmar. Adi ng atong presidente, taga Myanmar, atong division president, taga Myanmar na si, si Pastor Sao. But they rank 131. People are not happy because they are pressed. They don't have the freedom. Well, there are lots of studies. Okay. We have the studies of psychology. Pila ba kabok BS psychology dere? Niya ba dere mga psychiatrists? Because in the whole Philippines, duha la kabok adventista na doctor ugon yan psychiatrists. Dini sa ato ang Adventist Hospital Cebu, wala pa tayo doktor na psychiatrist, right? Crisis kayo ni nga kurso. Kung kamo gusto mo eskwila, bakanti kayo ni. Kaya ang DH, ang, ang ato ang gobyerno karon ng DOH, nag-hire na tungod sa kadaghan sa naghikog sa Pilipinas. Have you heard some news? There is mental health problem. Okay? So, let's skip some of this. So, there are treatments that we need. Positive psychology, a treatment is not just fix what is wrong, but also building what is right. Okay? May manta makakita o sayo. I don't know nga no nga kita dali rata ka kita sayo. But let us build what is right. Okay, move forward please. And does not rely on wishful thinking, self-deception or hand-waving. Do you know what is self-deception? 
Ito ang kayong nailad sa, sa to? Kapa? Dito sa Amerika, kung ako'y daghan dito. You know, sometimes because we wish, gusto tag biglang yaman. Magpailad sa ta, munang inan sila, are you, are you willing to become a willing victim? Mananghit pa niyo Nga, brad, kaning imo 1 million, brad. Ubon sa'y dangatan, ani, wakoy labot, ha? Kay parehas man ta, naghatag masag ko. Yan, dakura ba ning imo? Yan, matiklaob ni, aparehas ta. Wishful thinking, self-deception. A science and does not self-help technique. Psychology is just, just like self-help, but it is a science. They are studying the mind. Sabi ni, normal pa ba ni? Na nakakita man nakadungog man siya color. Ang yan tanaw sa nagwali na may sungay. Normal pagkana. And adapt what is best in the scientific method to the unique problem that human behavior presents as all its complexity. Because God has created us a very unique. No two persons are alike. So it's hard to deal what you think, what you think, what you think. Yeah. But we have one thing that is very, very common. One thing that would make us happy. So what is this thing called happiness? We want to be happy. But maybe our happiness is temporary, very short. There are people who will just... And then they will say, <laughs> and they're just, they're happy for a short time. What is this happiness? How do you define happiness? What is happiness to you? How do you know that you found it? Are you happy? Uy, ikaw na yun ang akong forever. Wow. Tinood ka ha? Huh? How do you know? When you lose it, these are big questions. Happiness is a feeling, right? Yeah, you feel happy. Showing pleasure, a mood of optimism, a state of well-being and contentment. Because people who are not contented, no, they will not be happy. They will receive one million, no, no that's too small. But maybe for a pulubi ng bata din ha, ng mga ayok bito, stop. Katagi gali na ninyo suway o ka ng dako-dako. Kadagi ni mo, singko ra. Ang bata, normal na ginas bata. Ha, singko. Salamat, sir. Tagaig dako kayo. Di ba, makakita ka sa naong sa bata. Sulok-sulok ah, so ang bata ko. Yading ikuyog siyang amigo. Bay, kitagaan ko, bay. Dako kayo, bay. See? A positive emotional state that is subjected, defined by its person. Lain-lain man tag panghuna-huna. So we need to think this through. Satisfaction with life. Happiness, you are satisfied. You have high positive feeling and low negative. Then equals happiness. Okay? Katulad siguro ning laktawan ang uban. Because I want to focus more on the 10. Okay? Let's jump to the picture of the child who is smiling. Happiness is just an emotional state. Let's take a look at the picture of this child. How do you know that a person is happy? Nama ko noy smile nga katunga. Napo ko noy smile nga aslum. Sour gripping. Ana. Pero kung ang tao mo smile, doon na ko noy tulo ka line nga mo baglis sa iyang naong. Ha? Na dire. Dire. Then the re, 
Ugo niya na yung mag-curve dali. See? Pero huwag mo smile mo din ha, nga without any reason, magduda sa tana. Okay? So, what is authentic happiness? Yan ang tinuod yun, nga kalipay. And it is feeling good. It's about doing good. Kapag doon mga tao, the Bible says that people feel happy when they will do some wickedness. Pero temporary lang. Kana bitaw malipay bitaw nga madagma katawan. Nya malipay kay yagaga yagaan. No, that's wickedness. But true authentic happiness is feeling good about doing good. According to Seligman, he says it is a pleasant life. Kumusta inyong pagkinabuhi? Hayahay? Isod pastor o eh. Wala gani koy po. Wala aircon. Init kaayo. Bits piser ako. Well, a good life, realizing his strength. When you join the group, you have the talent. Oh, nindot ni kay na si doktor. Uy, nindot ni kay na tayo dentist diri. Oh, nindot ni kay na tayo abogado diri. So you engage in something and realizing your strength your talent and a meaningful life. Kumusta nga tong kinabuhi? Ay takbaw na ko eh. Nangapo na ko, namling na ko na kong mga anak, nakasuroy na ko. So we feel satisfied. Uy nagamit jugog mayo. 34 na ko katuig sa ministeryo, kaluoy sa Ginoo. Huh? Your life is very meaningful. Your usefulness. There is a uh, modem we call this PERMA. Positive emotion. Letter P. E. Engagement. If you want to be happy, then engage. Participate. Diba? Nangatawa sila niya. Ikaw, di kakakatawa. Iwa magkakaibaw ko silang gibuhat. See? Engage. Then the R is relationship. One of the best source of authentic happiness is your relationship. Kana go mag-uyab, mag-istorya, mabuntagan na lang go. Di gina mag-human. Di ba? Pasti na, mag-istorya na sila. Pero maminyo na, wak na itinggan na eh. Nga no kahala. Letter M is meaning. Letter A, accomplishments. Are you satisfied with your accomplishments? Ha? Huh? Makapasar ka, ma-nurse ka, makaboard ka, makapasar ka US nga nurse, makalag ka sa abroad, makapadala ka kwarta, makatabang ka sa buhat sa ginoo. Wow! Wonderful accomplishments. Wow, nindot kayo tanahon. Glorious kayo ang church. Nindot kayo ang sounds. These are accomplishments of this church. And there is one source of authenticity. Malipay ta. According to Seligman, positive emotions, mental health and happiness. Positive emotion, engagement, relationship, meaning. And according to World Health Organization, positive emotion is a state of well-being. Setibo kay ka, di ka maguna-una nga. Yay, polis ni. Takpon ka kuwa ni. See? Engage. You are aware. You have confidence. Relationship. Then you have effective coping. Wagan kasi mong uyab, ay problema yun, ay daghang nagsayal. See? Cope. Meaning. Your usefulness. Your accomplishments. And you are an efficient worker. Why happiness really matters? Mulokso na lang siguro ko sa 10 boosters. Okay? Operator. Let's jump to the 10 boosters of 10 ways to boost happiness. Okay, because we have not much time. Okay, 10 ways to boost happiness. What's number one? Number one is giving. Okay, malipay mo kung tagaan mo. Tagaan mo 
credit card. Kanya ako ibayad. Di ba? See? When I responded, uh, Typhoon Hayan, sa Tacloban, and I was asking, who is, who is spending all of this? So, you know, Pastor, don't worry. Shh. Platinum card. We can buy a lot from this card. We'll be paying. So, okay. Kinsi ni kabok. Nagbok of airfare. Tawag din siya. Hello. David, please open your card. We are about to charge our airfare. 102,000. Are you not happy? And then I was told, from now on, Pastor, you go with these people. Wherever they go, you will go. Okay? You will be their guide. You, this card will spend for you. Wow. Mga on me? Wow. Ito nindu tano? Mura po itong card kay the owner of the card was a multi-millionaire sa Amerika. The owner of the GR3, Global Rapid Response Relief. Card rang yung ipadala. Okay, go. Spend and help the people right there. Well, number one is giving. Isa ba hindi malipay o makadawat? God gave His only Son. We deny ourselves and ipaburan na ito ng tao. Okay, taga-taga. Malipay na siya. The second ingredient is relating. Connect with people. Gusto kang magmalipayon, tawag. Oy, mama, kumusta naman kanina? Oh, okay namin tao may deridong. See? Tawag sa asawa, tawag sa mga anak. Relate with people. Close relationship with family and friends. Provides love, meaning, support, and increase our feeling of self-worth. Next, E, exercise. Exercise will excrete a lot of hormones na makapalipay ni mo. Na nang melatonin. Gusto mo nang melatonin? Na nang mga andropusal na nga mga ba na pag-exercise mo. Kay mo produce na siya melatonin, na mga serotonin, sa panangubahan ng mga hormones, then you will be producing it through exercise. Makita ni mo ng mga tao nga in exercise, kung saan? Rosy cheeks, nindot kayong mga body, depressed aning, nga mga na-exercise, kung nakayang tiyan, di na masira ang Amerikana, dito. Exercise. Then go with people, jog with people, play with people, and then you will enjoy. The next, A, awareness. Are you aware of what is going on? Huh? Ang sabi, ang sabi, ang sabi, balita ka ron. Ha? Ah, waday ka kay Balo. Nanawag na sa nangakong uganan. Ah, bibot, kay Balo ka kung sabi may balita? Wala na ba pa? Ah, waday ka kay Balo. Situlan. Sa kabungan, sa iktawag. Bibot, kay Balo ka kung sabi may balita? Wala, lagi ko kay Balo pa. Isa awa, ganday ka kay Balo. Ako nalai nak research. Sabarin, sabarin siapa yang sihir maning maning balita? Hah? We are not aware. Nga lulu nadi aiko. Angisa nga genahi mo nasi ang great grand lulu nak kai bau obona. Well, there are people, there are events happening around, and if you are not aware, di juga maka katawa. Letter T, trying out new things. Don't just be contented with the rotinary routine. Nindot kay tanahon kung makakita mo tiguang nga nag-skateboard. Nga tawa mo gani mo, samot na gitong nag-skateboard. Tigulang na, anyang yapong ba na nga tiguang mo po yung nag-gugos-gugos. Well, try new things. Expose ay mga tao mag-tour, mugawas, musuroy. New things. New life in Christ. So the password is, na, the first word is great. 
do something great. Letter D, direction. People who committed suicide because they lost the direction of their lives. They don't know what to do. Bitay na lang. Very sad. Letter R. Resilience. Doon ay mga butang, mga pangitabo sa pamilya. Lugay kay maulian. Ato na lang ing nun. Wapagyo ka na ka. Wapagyo ka na ka. Naka move on. Namatay nga kong uyuan. Diabetes. Ipaibalo ko nga ilubong na. Ah, bibot, last night, last, istoryahe dito yung mga uyuan, yung mga angkol dito. Kung ba? Ang inumduman ako, kaya ka nang iaan na, pertig yung kuriputa. Kaya nang ilang pagkawan bitaw, inununan ra, buwat. Pero pertig na tuwa. Nakapaiskwila o doktor, akuntan, may kwarta sila. Pero akong gingnan akong tiya, tiya, pila may gastuan eh. Katulunin na ICU bot. 1.2 million. Wow. Basta kayo naulian ang ilang kaguol sa kadako o sa bayroon. Nakaingon sila. Okay na lang. Ang let go na lang. Kaya dako, nagyong kayo may gasto. Diabetes. Naulian o dali. Kagahapon, nag-witness na diri o kagulanan. Pudili biya po sa iyo kung ang atong labuans na luya na gusto nang mapahuway. Nga ato lang iya pong tubo-tubuhan. Kanya, tagdisiot sumil ra ba ang adlaw sa ICU? Basta tisi. Well, there are problems that may happen. There are traumas, stigmas that will happen into our life's experiences. But remember, the key word is move on. Be a resilient person. Kalimtin na na ba eh? Move on. Padayin pa. Letter E, emotion. Look what is good in life. Look at the bright future. Letter A, acceptance. Whatever happens, accept realities. Letter M, meaning. Find meaning and usefulness of your life. And then you will be like this, jumping. Kunya makakita na ka old partner sa meta po. Wow. And then your great dream. The password is great dream. You give. Be resilient. Na mo kami muray sa uban emotion. Letter T, letter D, letter R, E, emotion, and then A, acceptance, and then M is the meaning. See? If you want to be happy, know the password, great dream. Well, the challenge of the Adventist is this. Mental health in a crazy world. Kalibutan karon ang daotan maayo, ang maayo daotan na. Mingon ka, I will marry you. Ingnon dain ka, are you crazy? Nagbuwag magalin ng uban, niya magpahikot ka nako. Zamdi mong gusto, shaw, nipin lang ta, atay, kansi. Happiness is a highly contagious. So please, be a career. Sabot mo, anak. Yeah, dili lang kay Corona ang career. Kinanglan kita mahimong career of happiness because that is highly contagious. Manakot ta sa uban. Let's tell people, be happy, forget it, be resilient, then enjoy life. Mentally happy Christians, is a happy Christian. There is no mental health, uh, there is no health without 
mental health. And this is the challenge of the church. That we need to be informed, the church, that we need to have the sense of meaning, the great dream, which is the password. And don't forget, God says, a merry heart, do it good, like a medicine. So be happy. In spite of all the problems, troubles, nothingness in life, deficiencies, be happy. Learn to smile in the midst of the storm. Because God said, the top one that is always or frequently used in the Bible, if you are with God, you are always happy. So stay connected with God. And don't forget that song, What the world needs love. Yes, it's love, sweet love. And remember, God is love. If the world would see love in you, then many will join the church. See? There are lots of people who need your love, who need your help, who need your presence, who need your information, who need Jesus. And if they will see Jesus in you, then they will follow. May the Lord bless each one of us this morning. Don't forget, be happy with God. God bless. To close, we'll sing when we all get to heaven. Shall we all stand?
Shall we bow heads for our ever Father? We, the children, once again come before the throne of grace. We thank you for the opportunity we just have had when we were able to worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you also for the timely message. O oh Lord, the sentiments of the song which we have just sung is also the longings of our heart. Because of that, our Father, we ask for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit so that we may be able to live a life that is in conformity with our will. Make it be, the Father, that when thou shalt appear in the clouds of glory, not one of us standing before you would be lost, but all of us together with our loved ones would be saying, forgive us of all our shortcomings. I also ask you to dismiss us with your blessings and protection. And now, brethren, the Lord God the Father bless you, watch over you, and keep you. Jesus Christ, our God, Lord God, the Creator, and our Savior makes His face to shine upon you, be gracious and gives favor to you. The Lord God, the Holy Spirit, lift up His approving countenance upon you and give you peace and tranquility in life, now and forever. Amen. Happy Sabbath.